The other day I was working on this engine type of thing and when I tried to adjust the teeth of this timing belt according to the teeth of the gears I ran into a problem. Here at the top of this gear you can see that it works but here towards the bottom I started up messing up and here I messed up big time and here the mess up was so big that I closed it with the cylinder, went to bed and cried all night. You can try to make such adjustments like this, rotating it, making this eyeballing thing. Here it seems to work, but at some point, it, again, it messes up. But the next day I came up with a solution and this solution is fairly simple and I would like to share it with you so you don't have to go through hell as I did. Okay, here we are in a new scene. Let's look from the front view and recreate this situation with three cylinders and the timing belt that's the big one shifty make a smaller one shifty and the third one can be something in between maybe something like this so we have three circles with different diameters and now let's create also the timing belt shift a create a line starting at one circle Ending at the other one with tan tan tangency on both ends. Repeat the process. Create another line again with tan tan. And here as well. Let's select all these curves. Shift D. Bring it to somewhere here. Delete these lines so we just have the circles for this part. And here we can trim. So we just have the timing belt. And join okay that's our situation shift h continue with the biggest one now i create teeth and the shape of the teeth can be however you like there are just two things you have to take care of first of all is obviously has to be at the on the x-axis it has to snap to the center and on the z-axis g b change the pivot the upper edge has to snap to the edge of the circle snap it to here and now you can make your fine tunings obviously we have to radial array it I go with 36 but you can type in whatever you want I just want to have enough gears so it looks believable okay let's bring back the rest and I want these teeth to be on the same plane as the circle okay now we have to determine the number of teeth for the other cylinders and for the timing belt if we select the circle this value gives us the circumference and the circumference is the unwrapped length of a circle or a curve whatever and the formula for finding out the circumference is multiplying the diameter with p but that's a side note what's important for us is this value the so the circumference 12.844 in this case and let's check the circumference of this one 9.811 so this one with this diameter has 36 teeth so let's select one of this teeth shift d now we want to radial array this tooth around the cylinder but we have to know the exact number and we can figure it out with the rule of three so we multiply the circumference value of this one so this 9.811 by 36 which is the number of the teeth from this bigger circle and we divide it by 12.844 which is the circumference of this bigger circle so let's calculate 36 multiplied by 9.811 divided by the circumference of this guy which was 12 point and now we have this value 27.49 so i round it down to 27 since the value after the comma is below 5 so let's select this guy f radial array snap it to the center of the circle and type in 27 okay and we will do the same with this circle do the same snapping positioning the diameter of this one is 6.987 
multiplied by 36, the number of these teeth, divided by, again, the circumference of this circle, 12.844. And here we have 19.58, so I round it up to 20. So select this guy, look for radial array, and type in 20. Okay. And at this point, intersections aren't important. What's important is the other tip, obviously. And like I said, you can give your teeth whatever design you want. For now, it's important to determine the counts of the teeth for each object. So for these three circles and the timing belt itself, which we will do now. So select again one of these teeth and position this one and this one the teeth of the timing belt they can be smaller than the ones for the gears and let's trim it and in order to be able to trim it we have to bring it to the same plane as the timing belt and now we can trim it there is obviously a cleaner way to do it, but now for the sake of the tutorial, I do something like this and now I have to find the exact count for the teeth of the timing belt. This has the length, the circumference of 25.45. I multiply it again by 36 and divide it by the circumference of this bigger circle. And here we get 71.3. So I will make 71. I round it down. So therefore, I select this guy and look for curve array this time, not radial array, because we want to use this curve, this timing belt, for arraying the tooth. And I select the path and type in 71. And now I have to adjust the gears, the teeth of the gears according to the timing belt. And we should be able to adjust them without having any problems like I showed in my example at the beginning. So rotate this guy. I just watch at one of these so that this tooth is in between these two teeth and the rest should work as well which it does and let's do the same with the other gears again press r twice and rotate and just take one point which you can use as a reference i took this point so this tooth which i center in between these two teeth and then i check for the other one and they look okay as well and i will do the same for this third gear and i took this one as a reference and the other guys they work as well so that's how you can adjust the timing belt according to your gears or vice versa and you can apply this one to your 3d model and now i can go and fix my own engine which will be a part of a much larger course and this course will include a lot of weird and wicked things like a space hot rod and a stoned alien so stay tuned and peace